Hello and welcome to this week's video. It is a pumpkin spice and everything nice makeup tutorial. As we are now into fall, this video will be published on Halloween, but it will carry us through Thanksgiving. It's pumpkin inspired makeup and everything that I'm using in today's video was purchased at Ulta in the drugstore section. So everything was 15 bucks and under. So I just wanna show you again that it can be done without having to break the bank. But I really, honed in on Revolution Pro. It's a great line. Ulta seems to be featuring it and the color combinations are really, really nice. This palette just um, resonated with me for obvious reasons. Get a load of those colors. A nice mix of matte and shimmer. So I think you have options there and I will walk you through some of the other choices as well. And we will get started with this week's tutorial. I'm moisturized. It's time for primer. And like I said, I gravitated to the Revolution Pro. This is the Hydra Matte Primer that I'm going to use. It uh, is an interesting combination because it hydrates and yet it offers that matte finish before you put on your foundation, which I think is super cool, especially as we head into the super cool months. My skin is so thirsty, as you know, from my recent video, fall skincare tips. It's just, it's soaking everything up like a sponge. So I've been using a lot of facial oils lately and uh, anything just to up the hydration because of the retinols and the um, exfoliating that I do as well. So just, you know, listen to your skin, take care of its needs as it starts to get cooler and the humidity really drops. That's when we start to notice that flaking. The other thing that we notice is that our skin color is sort of in between, right? We're not summer, we're not winter, we're fall. And so I find that I have to blend a little bit to get just the right foundation color. The foundation that I'm using from the drugstore that I love is Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. I'm between two, classic tan and medium olive. So I'm going to do a pump of each on a little blending tray and that should get me to where I need to be. Your skin color is going to change and it will especially change if you're doing self tanning. So you may just have to adjust your foundation accordingly. So play around with it until you get just the right shade. So I've got a goop there and I'm gonna mix it up with a foundation brush and um, I can always add one or the other if I need to deepen it, lighten it and, and just go from there. I'm really impressed with this NYX foundation and how it wears. I've actually been using this on air as of late and like the L'Oreal Infallible, this stuff stays all day, has a great matte finish and for the price point, I'm telling you, you just, you can't beat it. It's really, really, really great. So again, always make sure that you're matching your chest so that it looks all the same from face to chest. And you'll see as I pull out. All right, what I'm going to use for my primer is actually a concealer by Morphe. And just a little dab will do ya. It's a great concealer and I like it as a primer as well, just because it really gives a nice starting point for the eyeshadow and it cuts out any redness. So you can, I mean, it's up to you. You can use a clear primer. You can use something that has a little tint. Next on the list will be eyebrows. As you know, mine are tattooed, microbladed, both. Um, I always punch it up a little bit when I do makeup just to deepen. A big uh, on-trend look is a deep brow with lighter hair. So you can adjust accordingly, but I am using Maybelline Tattoo Studio. It's like a little pomade. And I go in with a thin angled brush and I'm just going to whisk. I start underneath. After you frame it on the bottom, you're just gonna take whatever is left and slightly whisk upward.
And then you can take your brush and really just sort of soften. And I just go back and forth, shake it a little bit. Brows are important to me. It's an area where I like to spend a lot of time just because of how beautifully they frame the eyes. All right, so now we get uh, into the exciting part and that is color. So it's the Revolution Pro. Obviously, I'm going in for pumpkin spice colors. The first one is going to be second to your left. Neutral, brown, a little bit of an orange, peachy, a hint of iridescence to it, so it's going to go on the lid. I'm using one of my larger brushes. Shake off the excess, just pat it onto the lid. And now we are going to use Provocative, and that's going to block in our outer corner. And making a V. You've probably noticed that I don't have any lashes. <laughs> I, um, I'm, I'm obsessive this way, so my lash extensions were coming out. And instead of just waiting and going to the salon, I just figured I would remove them myself. <laughs> and so I did. <laughs> And so I have no lashes. Now I'm using castor oil to grow mine back. So that's the phase that I'm in right now. I'm gonna take another firm brush. I wanna add in some of that orange. So I'm gonna use this here, and I'm going in the crease with this, because this is a color you're really going to see. Again, we ladies have to carve out a higher crease to create a more open eye look. Also to be able to see the eyeshadow better because our skin gets heavier, as you know. Now I'm going to blend with this really, really pretty cream color using a blending brush just to soften any hard lines. Going in now underneath the eyebrow to pop that brow bone. Now I'm going to use Awaken, which is the lightest one, going right underneath the brow bone. Firm, relatively thin brush. You just want a little bit of a line because this has a, a strong iridescence to it, but you don't want too much of it on the orbital bone or else it makes that protrude. And now I'm going to use this little gold shimmer right here for the inner corner, and I'm going to mix it with Awaken just to block out the inner corner. Now let's start working with our liners, and we're going to get back to the shadow in just a moment for smudging. So the first liner that I'm going to use is by NYX. Slide on, glide on, stay on. It does slide on and glide on very easily, and I use this for top lining. Top lining, as you know, is going right underneath that upper lash line, not from the top, but from underneath so that we don't ruin the pretty eyeshadow look. If you go from the top, you tend to make too thick of a line which closes the eye. We wanna make sure we're keeping everything open and bright. So top lining underneath and just smudging in the lash line. This is optional for you if you want to do a lower rim Inner rim, you can. I go for a brown, and it's also by NYX. NYX, the same thing, same pencil in brown. If you don't like to line inner rim, if you feel it closes off your eye, you can bypass this part completely. So now that we just did the black, I take a very small brush, and I'm just gonna now smudge a little bit into the lash line and out a tiny, tiny bit in the outer corner. And now to blend out the bottom, with a lighter color, it's on the brown side. <laughs> it's called Conceited. <laughs> okay, <laughs> anyway, it's this one right here. As you can see, it's a very, very soft, lightish brown, not too dark, and I will just use that to smudge in the lower lash line. As you know, I don't like to bring the focus downward, so I won't use any heavy, dark colors there. We are, we are pumpkin spiced. It is time to clean her up. The same concealer that I used for my eyelid, I will now use as concealer underneath. And if I need to get more precise, just go with a smaller brush 
and you can clean up anything that was done under the eye if you need to whisk away any extra shadow pieces that have fallen. I'm gonna set everything with powder and then I'm going to do, well actually let me do my mascara first. Probably should have done that before the concealer, but see, I'm so, I'm so not used to doing mascara. I forgot my order. Okay, it is uh, Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I'm gonna go in there and find whatever lashes I have just to give my magnetic lashes something to stick to. So this may take a while. Do you see anything? <laughs> I hope you do. Okay, while that is setting, I will now go in with the powder, uh, again by Revolution, translucent. So I'm just gonna pour some in the cap, tiny, tiny bit. Well, that was a little bit more than a tiny bit. Never mind. Using a, a little puff, just press in. I have powder everywhere. <laughs> I'm such a professional. <laughs> Let's get some lashes on, what do you say? Uh, these I found on Amazon, they're magnetic lashes. They're just the little outside wings, which I prefer. I find them easier to get on because there are two magnets to clamp together as opposed to three. And I just like that little bit more of an outer wing look. You just, you take two, you take the upper, upper and lower, place the upper where you want it. So in outer corner, let it sit there and hang for a second. Grab the lower, hold my hand to hold it in place. Let them meet up. And so they did. Yay, first try, that was nice and easy. Next side, and voila, lashes. Sometimes what I have to do once I have the lashes in is I can now see how sparse mine are. <laughs> so I'll go in and I'll try to thicken on the inner lashes and the center ones. But I'm a huge fan of these magnetic lashes. They uh, stay in place all day. I don't feel them. I'm not using eyelash glue, which isn't ripping out any more precious eyelashes. <laughs> uh, it's just easy. And, and once you kind of master how to get them on, it can be really quick. So let's now move on to contouring and highlighting. So what I'm using for that is also Revolution Pro Sculpt and Glow. Really, really pretty colors for contouring and highlighting. Um, I will use an angled brush for contour. Soak it in. You can do your tip if you like. A little swoop on the side. All right, so now we're gonna warm things up with a blush. And my blush du jour is by Milani, a lovely, lovely shade of pumpkin spice. So we're going to warm up our cheeks with that. Highlighting, back to the Revolution Pro. And now take a nice angled brush for your highlight. This has a bit of a shimmer to it. If you do not like shimmer, uh, you can easily opt for a highlighter that is matte. Smashbox has a great one. I have featured that numerous times on this channel. That's completely up to you, but this is gonna put just a little bit of iridescence on the cheekbone. And I just go you know, with a light hand, not too heavy. You can sweep it right here down the middle of the nose, the tip of the nose. We are now up to the lips. And I will use a pencil by NYX in Nude Truffle. Really, really good pencil. I prefer light brownish shades, almost skin tone shades to blend out. I like a shadow more than a harsh line. I just feel it's softer and prettier and a little more natural. So you can uh, go slightly above your lip line if you wanna create a fuller look. Then I take a, a brush for blending out my lip liner. Where are you? And I can't seem to find it. Hmm. So when in doubt, use your finger. Just make sure it's clean. There. So it just lightened the edge a little bit. 
So in keeping with the pumpkin spice theme, I gravitated to two colors that I'm gonna use, both of which are by Wet n Wild, but they both have an iridescence to them as well. If that's something you don't feel comfortable with, you can always find matte variations, but as you can see, they are sort of tan orangey based, you know, pumpkin without being too orange. So I'm gonna start with the deeper shade, this does dry to a matte finish, which is why I was very generous with my lip balm, just to keep enough moisture on my lips. I love it. I just think it's such a super cool color. And then with the lighter one, I will focus on the center of my lip, just to lighten the middle. Pumpkin spiced and everything nice. All drugstore prices, which made it even sweeter. I love the season. I love all things pumpkin. I like decorating with them. I like pumpkin soup. I like how they look. I just think they're cute. These colors are the inspiration of today's makeup tutorial and outfit. Alrighty then, hope you liked today's demo, pumpkin spice makeup on the cheap. Um, loved how everything was affordable, loved how a lot of these things I am using over and over again and will continue to do so. Um, I'm telling you, this NYX foundation, this, this Can't Stop Won't Stop is unbelievable. So if you're looking for an affordable foundation, just like the L'Oreal Infallible, let me steer you to this one as well. I think it's a super product and it's really exciting and um, enjoyful to see so many products out there that are versatile, that wear well, um, and, and don't cost a lot of money. So it's exciting to present that to you. Um, I hope you are as excited and ready for the fall season as I am, and holidays, and Thanksgiving is coming up, and all kinds of things to look forward to. So please, in the comments section, let me know what you'd like to see from me, and I will be very happy to provide that kind of content for you. So with your pumpkin spice face, maybe even a latte or so. Go out, be bold and be blessed, and I look forward to seeing you next Thursday. Cheers!